So this is Fuente Park Apartments. Uh, it's about 50 meters from the main Coral Echo Strip, which is just basically one long road that's full of bars, restaurants, shops. If you go to the north, you've got the water park. If you go to the south, you have the old town with the, the more, the more like classic restaurants, seafood restaurants, things like that, the old harbour and stuff. So Fuente Park, uh, it's 72 self-catering, one-bedroomed, apartments uh, we're going to take a look around the complex we're also going to take a look around the rooms and i'm going to give you my overall personal review of the place Freddy park it is rated as a three star self-catering complex we'll have a look and you can see what you think yeah, so that was the reception area there at the Freddy park apartments uh, they do for some weird reason keep the front door open from four to five but look the side does so you have to come through one of the side gates no idea why but it's just one of them things so as you come through the front door we have the sitting room and your little dining area which leads into the kitchen out to the massive patio so as you leave through the patio doors, you have a huge patio area uh, with some chairs, a couple of a little table, some chairs. Like I said, it's absolutely huge. Uh, you've got some lounger there, your area, and it's directly straight onto the pool area. So it's again, really, really good. There's not many places you get this much outdoor space. You have to excuse the can in the corner. That must have blew off last night. Uh, this is your sofa beds, table, lamps, plenty of storage. There's a nice TV there as well. All your BBC and Sky News and there's some Spanish channels and stuff. Now, but the apartments are a bit dated, uh, but they are clean. Uh, absolutely spotlessly clean. Yeah, the paintwork could do with touching up. In fact, it could do with a full remodernization. But for what you're paying for it, it's, it's absolutely fine. Oh, there is some really good air conditioning in some of them. Some of them, apartments, as we've been told, the aircon doesn't work as well. But you just ask at reception and they'll sort it out for you. There is a, a 10 euro deposit on the remote control for the aircon. This is the kitchen. I might have to bring it out a little bit. It's not a massive kitchen, but it's absolutely perfect for what you need. Uh, there's a full working cooker, full hob, uh, a lovely fridge freezer, uh, there's little cupboards which have got things like you know your jugs and coffee cups and filters and bowls and stuff, uh, stuff like that, yeah. cutlery drawers, Just corkscrew, uh, what else? Knives. Uh, again, the kitchen is a little bit tatty. You know, it's, uh, but the thing is, it's clean, it's workable, and it's absolutely spot on for what you need. So this is the bathroom. Uh, so that's, we've been using it, that's why the towel's a bit, but there's some nice storage there, which is always handy. Uh, towel racks, obviously your toilet, bin, huge mirror, fat gas. Uh, there's a hairdryer, works absolutely fine. It does come with some free toiletries. Uh, the sink, obviously. Uh, the shower, it's quite a big shower, it's quite a good shower. It's very powerful. See? Yeah, so that's the bathroom. Yeah, so this is the bedroom. Uh, it's a canny size, it's okay. Uh, it's, it's, again, it's clean, it's tidy. Beds are quite firm, but they're okay. You have to excuse the state of the beds. So the cleaner hasn't been in yet, and we're on our way out because we're checking out today. But it's a canny size, like I said, you've got some big wardrobes there. 
big slab wardrobes, massive mirror. There we go, so we've got the wardrobes, slide, plenty of hangers as well, which is always a bonus. And you've got a duvet there if you get a little bit cold. And in here, again, you've got more hangers. You've got your safe, a bit more storage there, lamps. Only thing that's lacking in this room is plug sockets. You've got a plug socket there for that lamp. You've got a plug socket there for that lamp, and that is it. So, that's the bedroom. So what can we say about Fuente Park Apartments? These are just my own personal views, just a little review of what I think of Fuente Park. This is our sixth, fifth or sixth time that we've been here, so it can't be that bad if we keep returning. It isn't that bad, it's absolutely fantastic for the price you pay and the location. Like I said, it's located right in the middle of, well, right in the heart of Coral Echo, just off the main strip, where all the shops and restaurants and things are, so it's, it's perfect for the location. Right, onto the bad bits, the paths and things around, they all could do with being lead routed. Uh, they are a bit a bit sticking up and stuff, so I wouldn't advise going out without shoes or your flip flops and stuff. You're going down the pool area, just make sure you've got something on around there because there's a good chance you'll cut your foot uh, or catch it on something. Uh, the pool area, absolutely love the pool area. Uh, the pool's brilliant, it's, it's, it's a nice deep pool, nice big pool. It's a bit cold, but that's, that can be quite good if you're if you're a bit hot and you, you do need that little bit of a dip. Uh, the sun lounges, they're the same sun lounges that have been here for what, the last seven years. They're, most of them are absolutely knackered, they're, they're uncomfortable. You know, they could, do with, they could do with new sun lounges. There's 11, oh sorry, there's only 10 uh, brollies around the pool. And even there, they're all tatty and the bases are falling apart. It's, it's, a, bit, it's a bit tatty, they could do with a refurbishment, but you can't really complain again for the price that you're paying the pool bar it's just a little pool bar it's privately owned it's not owned by the uh, the apartments or anything like that there's they do drinks obviously it's a bar mm -hmm. uh, ice cream sandwiches snacks things like that if you're hungry or package throughout the day uh, what else have we got there's a couple of on-site cats little black cats uh, if you can leave them some fresh food don't not harm or anything like that because you know it's full of salts and things. If you want to look after the cats, buy some little sachets and just you know maybe stick one or two out while you're here. Uh, the rooms, the rooms, like I said they need redecorating. They need well, they don't need redecorating. They need refurbishment. You know the the tables, chairs, everything's very very old and it's it's like I said it's just it's just old and tatty. Some of the paintwork's chipped. You know they've they've plastered over cracks and it doesn't match the rest, but. Again, it is exactly what you're paying for. You know, it's a, this is a cheap, cheap holiday. It's come to the Canaries, and if you're using it as a base like we do, you know, you want to make your breakfast, you want to even make even a meal from that. It's great. It's a nice big kitchen with all the amenities of the kitchen that you need. The bedrooms, huge, loads of storage. The beds are a little bit hard, but absolutely fine. Will we return to Fuente Park? Well, yes, we are coming back next year. We're not just me and Sarah this time. We're bringing our whole family. Uh, is it Sarah's Matt, one of her milestone birthdays? I won't tell you which one because she'll probably tell me off. But yeah, Fuente Park Apartments. It's a thumbs up from me and we can't wait to return next year. Hope you enjoyed this video. Goodbye.